Francisco. And um, let's get this one straight underway. Fancy wasting no time going straight for the altar of elders. Altar of Kings, sorry. Fancy playing as humans, remember. Looking at the uh, positioning of this map right now in Knollwood, it looks like both teams have spawned one northwest, one southwest, so on opposite sides of this map. So what we have seen in the last round and in every round where they've been close together, uh, everyone has come up once again at right on top of one another, but that has not, that cannot be the case right now as they're so far away from another, one another. The reinforcements are further away. In the last game, uh, in the last um, match, Fatsy was able to camp himself down in the base with the scout towers because they were so close to his base he could get reinforcements in to keep them managed. Cannot do that right now, and therefore he will not um, be able to play that sort of a strategy. Now, Fatsy building up a barracks, building up the Order of Kings. Order of Kings almost constructed, as is a farm right next to it. Got the gold mines going, got the gold uh, miners going up, and uh, right now looking at a uh, farm being constructed. Order of Kings is up as well, training up an Archmaid as ever for the. Uh, for the uh, team of, uh, for the human race, obviously. Ancient of War going up as well. Now, looking around, what do we see? We see the Tree of Life building up some more wisps. We don't see an Altar of Elders just yet being constructed. Uh, we have another Moonwell going down. Oh, in fact, there's an Altar of El Elders just to the north of that map, just to the north of that base. And um, now I'll go training up another uh, an, uh, training up an archer as he does so spawns a wisp as well looking around we have the scout on as well we have militia going to the south of this map we have a wisp moving around to the left hand side of this wisp as well of the map as well another here uh, another wisp going out of the base as well uh, and very shortly we have another militia moving out of the base but very shortly we shall be joined in the presence by an archmaid the archmaid now been trained up at the altar of kings there it is it is away now and um, the Archmage leaving the base right now. Going to do the scouting for SC Faxi. Remember, 80 short round playing um, for the United States is 1-0 down. Playing as Night Elf, going up against the human Faxi from France, from Clan Short to Commando. Uh, I'm not sure who AT is. I, I, if I would, I would hazard a guess as to that would be Armour Team, but I think they folded, so uh, I have no idea. Uh, now, right in the center of this map, we have begun the creeping. We have three militia and a water elemental from Fatsy taking down the Null Brute. We have two Null Poachers right behind there as they continue to fight. We have a Tome of Intelligence right next to that water elemental as well. Is the Archmaid going to come and collect that? I do not know. Wisp now making his way around to the right hand side of the map. We have a little bit of a. We have the Fire Lord here, in fact, from. Um, short round he's picked up a fire lord as well which is an interesting one because uh Hopefully last round he went for attack. the uh, warden and now he's gone for this fire lord nice hellfire and brimstone so to speak and uh right in the very center of this map we have the forces going up to the left hand side of the map the barracks is up barracks is completed and slowly the bases are going back being upgraded to a keep here over at sc uh, at fat c's base and down at short hands base he's also upgraded to a tree of ages both teams at a very similar stage of the base the fire lord raining down with the lava spawns taken on the null poachers taking them down now going to pick up the tome of intelligence leveling up to level two moving the three lava spawns away as well as the archer two three archers joining the fight now we have though the hero the archmaid leading the charge go making a beeline for fat for short short rounds base and here he is aggressive as ever he makes the push short round loses a little bit of life on one of his archers gets the call to come back but still doing some creeping up at the rock golem taking on some shadow trees and some forest troll berserkers making their way down to this left hand side we're seeing fancy just um just constructing up a um fancy is constructing up an arcane tower at the back of this base phenomenal phenomenally cheeky if you ask me but he's going to get away with it now as he's already got the scout tower. He's now just upgrading it to an arcane tower. Here comes the archers, though, to try and do some damage to that arcane tower. Still up at about 200 HP. We have one footman taking down one of the archers. A second footman takes down the archer. And now that arcane tower is back up and running. Or oh, is it? Yes, it is. It's up. It's being repaired now straight away. It's down to about 30 HP. One more arch would do it. There it goes. So unlucky from Fat C because the footman got taken down after doing about half the job of taking down Fat, uh, of taking down the, the Fat C's footman. Now, Fat C with a peasant to the right-hand side of the map. Looks like um, the Archmage has backed away, but the Fire Lord still strutting its stuff in the middle of the water. Looking around, we see Fat C's, uh, Fat C's 
Ahmed, right to the, right beneath it, in fact, has seen it. Firelord, Hellfire, and Brimstone firing across towards it. Firelord lost about 50% health, making a beeline for the Fountain of Health. Hell, health in itself up, but waking up the Red Drake, Fire Breathing Dragon. Like fire with fire is the call, and the Fire Lord is having to move away. The Null Brute and the Red Dragon giving chase. That Red Drake does not want to give up without a fight, and in the end, he has to back away and return to the Fountain of Health. Now, short round, moving a unit of uh, archers, moving the cavalry around. He's going to reunite that with the uh, with the Fire Lord right next to the Fountain of Health. Going to do this creeping right now. Also, uh, f somewhat easier to creep around the uh, Fountain of Health because you have that health just regenerating you. But in fact, they're not going to do that. They're going to back away. We have Archmeg pushing around to the right-hand side. We have the first Troll Berserkers moving on in uh, to try and do some damage to this Archmeg at the top right-hand side. Goldmine taking, losing life as I speak, though. Shadow Priest getting taken down as well. Just one first Troll High Berserker left alive on this right-hand side. We have the uh, Water Elemental just about to dissipate. There it goes. The Arcane, uh, the Archmeg doing its damage. And now as we take a little look back at Fat Sea's base, we see he is training up a Mountain King as always. We have an Arcane Vault and an Arcane Sanctum going up here by Fat Sea. Looking in the very center of this map, we still have those creeps, but right next to those creeps, Short Round has put a wisp in one of the trees, gets himself up a little scout position. Now, slowly but surely, that Lava Spawn is going to get decimated here by the Archer and by the Fire Lord. Well, by the, uh, sorry, by the Null Brute of the Fire Lord, and uh, now that those Lava Spawns are having to move away because they're coming under fire from the Rifleman, from the Archmeg, from the Footman. Slowly, this m army of humans are making their way towards the Orc army, taking on the Fire Spawns, making their way back to the Fountain of Health where the Red Drake is asleep. But as soon as that Fire Lord wake awakens, it is going to take on the mighty Fire Lord of the uh, Orc army. That has happened. The Lava Spawn is also taking damage from this Fire Lord. That fire, fire breathing down upon the Water Elemental. Fight fire with fire at the call from the Fire Lord, firing back towards the Water Elemental, as well as the Mountain King. The Red Drake backs away from the battle, and the Creeps are out of this one. Town Portal caught by that Fire Lord. He took a fair bit of damage down to 17 HP, and out they go. The Mountain King, the Archmaid, the Rifleman, and the Footman were victorious, back in that battle at least. Now they're moving it on back to their base where we see this Fire Lord now. Moving out with the Huntress, with the Lava Spawn, with two Lava Spawns, with the Fire Lord, with six Archers as well. And they're not sure where they want to go. It looks like we have got a Panda and Brewmaster spawned up here siege. by the uh, Undead side. And on the very top right-hand side of this map, we have a Wisp coming under fire from the Rifleman and from the Archmaid. That Wisp goes down. So far, no expansion. We do have a Hunter's Hall, though, very low down on this map next to the Tavern. And um, looking around, though, I still don't see any form of an expansion. But on the very top-hand side of this map, we have got Fatsy making his way towards the gold mine. We see a Rock Column under attack. We see a Shadow Priest and a Troll Berserker gonna get put down there. But right in the very center of this map, near the Fountain of Health in the battle. It is being won right now by the uh, archers who have taken down the red drake the fountain of health is under fire as well down it goes down goes the null overseer null brute is all that's left here up the creeps at the fountain of health obviously they're all helping up as well down goes that null brute now goes the last null brute as well and that is going to level up the panda and brewmaster who is very close to level three and they're having only been alive for like two seconds that's pretty impressive. The Fire Lord now up to level 3, close to level 4 as well, making his way towards the Goblin Must, the goblin Laboratory. Sees the Priest, sees the Archmage, takes them on. Archmage doubles back because he's under fire from the Fire Lord. He's backing away. That Priest is on fire, moving away towards the Water Elemental. He's off cool, off moving the Archmage away as well. And the whole forces of Fancy are moving away from that base. Going back towards the, uh, the fast expansion that they were trying at the Town Hall at the very north-hand side of this map. The Fire Lord didn't see that, though. Now they're backing away. Now they're taking the fire from the Mountain King, from the Archmage, and from Fancy's Rifleman. And slowly the Huntress is getting taken down as they do so. They are losing out. The Fire Lord now up to level 4. Much higher leveling than that Archmeg. The Archmeg is only at level 3 and nowhere near level 4. Town Portal called. The Town Hall is down. The fast expansion has failed. And out they go. The Fire Lord to press his home. Short Round is on fire right now. Literally, not only does he have that Fire Lord, but he's playing to his strengths. He's now got a, a, a row of farms. There's a beautiful little row of farms right there. The architecture is just fantastic, but nobody really cares. Because now we have the Archmeg with 3 or 4 with a priest 
with uh, a Mountain King with a Rifleman. But that is it. That's the, the total amount of the ground forces of uh, SK Fat C. But at the very back of the base, we see a Dryad taking on a Peasant right in the very front base of the Tree of Eternity. Well, that upgrade is still underway, but the Tree of Eternity being uh, constructed right now by Shortbound in his base. And here it comes through the front door, comes the Fire Lord burning down the house, his house, as now switch the Paladin Brewmaster moving on into the Arcane Vault. Here comes the returning forces, the Rifleman, the Priest, the Sorceress, and everyone else just trying to, def uh, moving around towards the barracks. They're at researching long, ri long rifles as they do so, but down goes the Arcane Vault. The Arcane Sanctum stands firm, spawning up another priest, but the Fire Lord backing away from that base. Tome of Intelligence le just laying on the ground right next to it. But why did they back away? Why, we have to ask, where are the forces of... Where is the hero? Where is the Archmig of um, Fancy? Well, they are patrolling the entrance to their very base, but there's so few of them. I see three riflemen, I see one mountain king, I see two sorceresses, and that is it. No footmen left. Here they come once again, the Pandaren Brewmaster moving away, going for that Tome of Intelligence, the Dryad backing away from the fight. They have no idea how weak the uh, Fancy's forces are. The level, the mountain king levels up to level two. Moving away slowly but surely, the Fire Lord leading the charge with two huntresses in front. The Dryad as well coming away with them. We need to see fancy bringing up a few more units right now he's now picked up a fourth rifleman as well as a second priest and a second sorceress but that is it we have got the arc mig in there as well we're still re uh, bringing up another rifleman having researched long rifles as well and slowly we're going to see this expansion is still at a keep the expansion failed there from fat c and um that neither team have been able to create a successful expansion so far in this map. Now, right outside the goldmine in the very center of the map, Null Overseer, Null, and the Null Brutes. The fire that is brought down to them by the level 4 Fire Lord and by the Panda and Brewmaster. They're pushing on in towards to destroy the Assassin. The two Null Assassins getting taken down. We have a Druid of the Claw moving on in there as well. And that is it, the Panda and Brewmaster almost up to level 4. And right now, the uh, AT short rounds team is much stronger that uh, hero wise and level wise than his opponents out of uh, Fancy. But Fancy's got a few more units now up. But, but coming from behind are the Druids. Coming from behind are uh, Dryads, sorry. Coming from behind are the Archers as well, making a beeline for the base entrance. And the Fire Lord is waiting with them, making their way back towards the base. In fact, no, here they come, gonna make a move for those forces. We see one of the Dryads going to, one of the Archers go. Huntress is going down behind the trees. And now this Archmig that we are following is going to make a beeline for his base entrance, taking on the Druid of the Claw, because here comes the fire. The Panda in there moving on in, as is the Fire Lord for the kill. He sends his victory. The Archmig is taking them all on. He's pushing on in. We have the Rifleman backing away. We have no more Rifleman. No more, nothing being created. In fact, at the Arcane Sanctum, we have a Spellbreaker being created. The Priest backs away. One Priest falls. Fancy has lost his Mountain King as well. He's backing away to his very base entrance, using his Arcane Vault. And now we have seen the Fire Lord pushing straight in towards the Arcane Sanctum. We have the Panda and Bear also moving on in there. The Riflemen doing all they can to fight. We have Militia called by the pe onto the Peasants, and they are backing away looking for something to hit. And as they do so, we have the Druid of the Claw moving on in, just spraying down the Militia. And that the Druid of the Claw is now going to take offense to the presence of further Militia. The Riflemen trying to take him out, but it is game over. Fancy has left the game. Short round was victorious. It is 1-1 one, one as we go on to the next round to a rapturous applause from the audience because Short Round has clawed his way back into this match after being decimated in the first.